AJ Papito is Papito style. So now I'm about to get a black face mask. I clean my skin with some Neutrogena face wash. Here we go. So we're gonna put on the mask, let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. And baby, please don't get my eyebrows because they are tinted on and I need to keep a little tint. Right, so why Chibu G doing this? Let me tell y'all about my eyelashes that has just decided to jump off of my eyelash. So before I got to Nigeria, I was at home in Miami and I was down south. So when we say down south, I was down in like the Cutler Bay homestead area. And I decided to go ahead and get my eyebrows, which do look good, and my lashes done, which are completely gone. So I went to the shop that I just found on Apple Maps. And they had good reviews and it had a cute interior, cute decor. So I went on and went by there. Cause honestly, I was just trying to get to a place that was that could get me in and out. I got there and it was Spanish folks. And I went on and stayed, but it was nice. So the girl finally got me to the chair. And this is when I knew she knew what she was doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Because usually I go to Miss Kim and her name is Miss Kim. And I'm talking about the Asian. So usually I go to the Asians and the lady that does mine on the usual is Miss Kim. She does a great job and it takes less than five minutes, to be honest. So I knew the Spanish chick was up to no good. This is before I knew. For one, okay, she's leaning over me how Chipu Chi is leaning over me, right? I don't hate to say it, but I hate to say this because you working with people, but her breath was stink, y'all. It was stink. It was hot and stink. It was hot, stink, and thick. So that was flaw number one. But where she messed up at is, I knew she didn't know what she was doing because she started to put <laughs> these little things under my eye to keep my eye open. Like little band-aid, you know the little white scoop things. She put those under and then she taped them down. So like those things are already have they already have adhesiveness to where they stick to it. And I know my skin. My skin is oily, so they were sticking right. So she had to tape the under eye things down to my face. I was like, Lord, she already doing the most. And that took forever for her to get on the stick. She was like, Don't open your eyes, don't open your eyes. I'm like, Lord, lady, just put the lashes on my eyeball. So finally she got that done. And then she just put on her lashes. And she had a good little speed at first, at first. Get towards the end, I felt her sticking and unsticking some lashes in the corner of my eye. And even I know, with lashes, once that glue gets tacky, you gotta stick and let it go. So you gotta be really precise and right on target. So she kept redoing the corner of my eye. She kept like sticking it, taking it off and re-sticking it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not gonna be good. And it took at least like 30 minutes for her to do my lashes. My you, Miss Kim, take less than five minutes. And they last a long time. And before, the lady at the shop I went to, she was like, oh yeah, your lashes will last about 10 days. My lashes did not last 24 hours. Oh my not goodness. even 24 hours. I left the shop and they was already falling off. And <laughs> um, baby, how much dollar you said you paid for uh, The lashes was $45 for individuals. Do you know how much $45 is in Nigeria currency? A lot, like four thousand, right? No, forty-five thousand naira, child. That yeah. is, baby, that is someone monthly salary in this hotel you're lodging. Yeah, down the drain at that. Forty-five dollars down the drain, y'all, for lashes. I got them the day before I left, which was that Friday. I left on Saturday, December second. I kid you not, like later December first, that Friday, they were already falling off at night. It was already aggravated. I tried to put it back on, couldn't do it. Couldn't it Get to the airport on the second, they still dropping. They dropping like bombs, like they just dropping. They just kept dropping, it was so annoying. So I kind of saved some and then I realized, okay girl, you ain't gonna better say this. Luckily I did bring some strip lashes. So this eye, all the individuals fell off. So I put a strip up there at the um, airport. Cause I'm like, I cannot pull up on baby with some lashes and then no lashes. So I put a strip on and then this one was kind of still fully done. Then this one started falling off. So today I just did it, took the rest off. Now I have no lashes. The moral of the story is sometimes shopping on convenience is not 
great. You need to shop where you know you're going to get good quality service. So I should have went to Miss Kim over there in Miami Gardens. But I was like, no, nah, I'm not driving up to Miami Gardens because I'm already down here. And it's convenient. Now, I know the flea market in Miami, they'll get you some good old lashes that's going to stick. But best believe, your eye going to be red. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want that. So, you know, you got all type of levels out here. You got the Spanish chick that got me in and out, kind of, sort of, but they fell off the next day. Then you got Miss Kim, she go get you right. Then you got, you go over there to the hood, to the flea market in Miami. Y'all know the inside flea market. I forget the name, off of um, 27th Avenue. You can get there and get some bomb ass lashes that's not going to fall off, but your eye going to be red. <laughs> So now I know. Just stick to Miss Kim. Cause that's my girl and she go get you. And yeah, yeah. and out. And they go last. But the Spanish chick did she did these eyebrows really good. But she need to make sure she has fresh breath. But as you can see, my mask is on. So I'm gonna start my 20 to 30 minutes now. I'm gonna take a shower, let this marinate, and then we're gonna peel it off. Alright, talk to y'all soon. Thanks for listening. I know I'll be talking about everything under the sun. Chi Woo Chi over there putting more black masks on because I guess I didn't do a good job. He did a good job with me. He got a little close to this eyebrow right here. Yes, baby. He said he know how to pull it off. He's probably adding some to his hair. I wasn't trying to get it in his hair because it's going to pull it off. But let him do what he want to do. Look who couldn't wait to pull out their mask. What's his name? Chibu Chi just wanna be all fast. I still got some time left. Stop, baby. This is getting all on the floor, and I, I don't want to see that on the floor. Stop. Just do the rest in the shower. Deep it, Swallow them. Look at them. Aggie. He's so aggy. He's out. Is it painful? That was painful. He's taking off my mask. I feel like prematurely. Do it in big chunks, please. Oh. Mmm. What a tear up baby's face. Okay. I have a nose ring nose that ring I want to change one. out. Okay, you want to change your nose ring? Yeah, I brought a new one. Okay. I need your help changing it. I will. Ooh, I feel like you're pulling my wig off. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> they got him. They got out of damn time. That's okay. I'll handle it in the shower. Yeah. All right, here we go. We are done with the face mask. Ooh, done with the microwave. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with her? <laughs>